Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a histogram in Microsoft Excel. A histogram is going to be used to display the frequency distribution of numerical data. I do have a bar chart tutorial on my channel, but if you're going to be working with data that looks something like this, a lot of numbers, then it's best to use a histogram to show the frequency distribution of that numerical data. So for today's example, I'm going to be using salaries and these are just made up and we've got a hundred of these and we want to show the frequency distribution of these salaries. To create the histogram, we need to go to the insert tab first at the top and then go to the chart section here. The histogram is this icon here. If you click on it, we can choose the top left option, which is the standard histogram and it will bring in this empty box now. To go and select the data, click on the box and go to the design tab and click on select data. Now if we've got the cursor in here, we can go and drag our selection all the way down to the bottom of our data and we can include the title at the top. Excel should recognize that and it will change it to a different color. And so this is how our chart is looking automatically. We can first change the title. And so the graph looks something like we would expect. We've got a higher frequency of salaries that are lower. We've got 15 to 27,000 here. That's the highest category. It's done these automatically and I'm going to show you how to change these to something a bit more standard. We've got obviously 39 to 51. We might want to change that. So to do that, go to the design tab. You need to be selected on the graph first. Go to add chart element, axes, and then more axis options. And you can see we're choosing the bins here. The bins are these individual things on the histogram and we've got it set to automatic at the moment and it's using a special formula to calculate how to do this. We don't need to go into that, but we can change some of these settings here. If we select bin width, we can now actually change this to how we'd want and it's set to 12,000. It's done that automatically, like I said, with the formula. If we were to choose 5,000 and then hit enter, you can see that we've now got a slightly different looking graph and it's actually showing us a bit more data. You can see that the highest frequency of salaries are between 20 and 25,000 and you wouldn't have noticed that from the first automatic one. If you click on number of bins, you can change that. We might not need to do this. If we choose it to 20, it's going to change the bin width as well. You can see it's changed it to 5250, which makes this look a bit strange and not neat. So if we move that back to 21, it will go back to the 5,000. So you can see how this works. If we were to change it to 1,000, that's how it would look. It's a bit messy. If we go to 10,000, it will show us something similar to it was at the, how it was at the start, where we don't actually see the data that we did in the 5,000 one. So I'm going to change it to 5,000 as I think that's best. But depending on your data, you can play around and see which you think works best. And so the higher the bin width, the less data it will show us. But as we start to decrease it, so if we go back to 5,000, I think that's going to work best for us. But if we were to keep going lower and lower, it eventually we'd lose the whole point of creating the histogram. We'd almost go back to just standard data like this and it wouldn't really show any pattern. You might want to add other bits of information to the chart. If we go to add chart element, we can add axis titles. So this would be salary across the bottom and then frequency on the vertical axis. We can also change where the chart title is. It's currently set above chart. We can have it centered or we can choose no title at all. And we can also add data labels. This will show the exact number of each in each category. You won't necessarily need these, but depending on how your frequency vertical axis looks, it might be helpful to add them and you can choose where to add them here. We can also add grid lines and if you've chosen not to go with the data labels, it might be helpful. At the moment, it's not too bad for ours because we've got quite a lot of low numbers here. If we were to have more of a bell shaped curve, then you might need these grid lines to be able to read that far into the graph. So that can be helpful. And we can add the legend as well. And in this case, we don't necessarily need one. We can use the quick layout option here in the design tab to choose one of the three presets. This will automatically add some of the things that we just did manually. And as you can see, it's deleted some of the things we've made, but we could then add them in the future. It's not too much of a problem. There are some more presets here to choose from in the chart styles section. This will change the visual look of the graph without really changing the layout. And you can change the colors as well using this change colors option here. There are plenty to choose from as well if you scroll down. You can change the entire chart type here in the design tab. If you click on that option, there's all the other chart types you can choose and you can use the preview screen here to see how it will look. 
You can change how the text looks within the chart, so we'll choose the title as an example. If you go to the Format tab, there are some presets, but we can go to the Home tab and change text as we would normally. And so that's the introduction to the histogram in Microsoft Excel. If you did find the video helpful, remember to leave a like, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.